The first 47 people that comment will be registered. Today, we're gonna crack open this 68 inch Epic. The KETP682. Let's do it. The only tools we need, a knife. Hopefully I can get away with the electric ratchet, but sometimes they put the leg bolt so far underneath there. I gotta use just the regular one. So we'll see what happens. First, we're gonna start off. We're gonna cut all the green strips off, cut the tape up. Cardboard on the top. The plastic liner. Check out these edge protectors. I like to save these. I'll use them in the trailer when I'm tying stuff down. Uh, it keeps a lot of stuff from sliding around or from the ratchet straps making marks on stuff. The next part, this whole thing will lift up if you have enough room or you got a couple people to help. Otherwise, on the other side, there's a spot where you can grab and just kind of peel this thing apart. There it is, extreme green with the blackout package. So we have the blacked out logo, the blacked out wheels. There'll be a blackout handle for it. Let's open it up. In the little key pouch, you get two keys. They have the wrench design on them. And they also will have the code number that matches with the lock. So in the bottom drawer, this is actually the ramp that we're gonna use to get this off the pallet. So this cardboard here, this little cardboard ramps, we'll put it in front of each of the wheels. This will hold that 1100 pound box coming off of that pallet. All the dividers for the speed drawer and the liner for the speed drawer, cause it's a little bit different size. Let me open it up here. With this inside of here, it kind of makes it just a hair smaller, so it needs its own size. All the rest of the little drawer liners, owner's manual, and the blacked out handle there. Let's go ahead and get this off the pallet. First, we have to take out, there's four leg bolts. Take them off, and then we'll go ahead and just roll it right off of there. So next up, now that I have all the light bolts out, there's a couple boards under there I'm gonna pull. Those are what stop the toolbox from sliding during shipment. Unlock all the brakes. We'll put the cardboard down and slide her on down. The Epic Series is designed so that you can have any of the four wheels either rotate or be straight. And there's a little pin underneath there. So I'm going to rotate the pins on the front so that them become swivel casters for unloading it. Make it a lot easier for me. You guys gotta check out these pallets. These things are crazy, crazy strong how they're built. Now I just need to pick up my mess here and go ahead and set up the toolbox, put all the drawer liners and stuff in there. It'll be ready to go on the truck. Here's our power cable to the power drawer. And the accessories for the power drawer. 
So inside the power drawer, you're gonna get two USBs and five 110 outlets that moves back and forth with the drawer. They send these paper things. So here are the tool holders. Some more parts. The part that holds the handle to the tool. And this is probably one of the most confusing parts that I've seen on the websites and forums. Guys are like, hmm, what's that for? How does that work? Let's put it in there. Um, this is actually the toolbox that is on the back of the flyer for April. And if you haven't seen the flyer, you make sure you come over to the website, hoseltools.net, because the people that bought .com tried to blackmail me and get me out of thousands of dollars. So we're a .net. And last but not least, a couple screws here. one screw there and one screw there as well so now it is in here and that's what it looks like this panel here you can run your cords and then go down through the different holes to hide some of your wires just to kind of clean things up a little bit and that my friends is unboxing and setting up a brand new epic with power drawer I'm going to leave this drawer open so that they can set it up however they like with the dividers in it. But other than that, I'm out of here. <laughs>